Yo guys, it's me, the X Whatever. And today we're doing what if Bell had Venom. <laughs> and this is completely different than any other video I ever made. I thought of this hmm a little while ago, but yeah. Anyway, I'll start the story. Bell was very young. When his grandpa died, he, well, it was after Bell was young, a meteor crashed near the forest, and v and Bell f s like slept, was sound asleep. However, Venom was needing of a host, so he find he went to the village, he searched the village. He searched house after house, but none of them were a suitable host. However, Bell was. You see, in this what if, Bell wasn't always sweet. He had kind of a dark side as well, which he was hiding from Zeus. Believe it or not, Bell managed to fool the very god himself, Zeus. You see, Zeus thought Bell was the purest thing on Earth. However, he was not as pure as he thought. When Venom went to Bell, Venom did not want to say anything. Because he wanted to see if Bell would actually be able to hmm, crack or break his character. And if he did, then the Venom would begin talking to him. After his Bell's grandfather died, <laughs> Bell, <laughs> Bell finally just smiled and says, <laughs> I knew you were my father, Zeus. As Bell looks up to the skies and just says, Did you really think I wouldn't notice? He's smiling. <laughs> I'm impressed that I've managed to keep up this act. But oh well, let's get. I might as well walk to a town nearby. Bell is smiling. With a bit of a twisted grin, and that's when Venom finally, finally decided to speak up. Hey, kid. As Bell was like, oh, so it was in my imagination, someone it was in my head, and Venom was surprised, and, and Venom said, hm, how long have you known I was here? Bell said, the moment you attached to me, I just thought of it as just a little itch in my, in my, hmm, back in the back of my head, but, well, you're kind of explaining it. As I was like, <laughs> I was right to choose you. As Bill was like, yes, you were. Now tell me, what is your name? As Venom says, my name's Venom. And I think we will be great partners. As Bill is smiling, just laughing in his head, it's like, <laughs> Yes, indeed, Venom. As Venom begins explaining h how, what he is, and how, on how to use him. As Venom says, I can only, I can heal you, if you're, if you're basically, Bill. If any of your if any of your flesh gets broken on your arm or anything, I can immediately heal it. As Bell's like, huh. I mean, as Bell's like, huh. I'm guessing that you're gonna try to eat my organs. As Bell's like, I was, but I decided not to because I wish to see how long you keep up the act. And now that your father's finally gone, or or Zeus is gone, I think we should have a little fun. As Bell's like, 
Well, as Bill is smiling, I have heard of these people in the village that are pretty much bandits. They steal everything at night. As Bill, as Venom's like, oh, I see. So basically, you want you want to test you want to test me out for a full test drive, am I right? As Bill was smiling and just saying yes. Yes, indeed, Venom. And... Uh, I wish to know what your limits are, Venom. As, Bell, as Venom now begins masking Bell in a mask. And not, not like this, that's Riot. And if you guys can guess in part two... He will get Riot. Of course, he does join the Hestia Familia, but in a different manner. <laughs> okay, guys. Tell me in the comment section right now, how the hell have I not been stuttering? Hmm? I don't know, but anyway. <clears throat> As Venom Bell waited for nightfall, the bandits came to the village and stole everything again. Of course, this is where Bell chants, smiling. And then Bell says, Okay, Venom, let's try... Let's try that little outfit you got me. And Venom says, What? Uh, so, I'm guessing you want to... I'm guessing you want me to put the suit on. As Bell says, Hmm... Yes, but I think we need a little code word. As Bo finally figures out what the word is. Mask. And, and Venom says, <laughs> I like your style. Copy then my host, my partner. As Bo's body is now completely, his face is completely black, but he's wearing the casual clothes that you wear as you're seeing right now. You see, Venom and Bill have a certain style they like. As the bandits are laughing, like, <laughs> I can't believe we stole everything from those villagers. Man, I can't believe that village is so easy to steal stuff. We keep coming there every time, and they have more goods than ever. <laughs> As a twig breaks, as all of them are around the campfire. And the, one of the bands is like, show yourself. As Bell is not wearing the suit. Because he wants to keep it. He doesn't want to show it yet. As the band is like, oh, it's just a young boy. <laughs> Empty your pockets, kid. And maybe we'll let you live. As Bell is like, Oh no, you actually got the op. It's actually the other way around. As Bell was like, as the badge is like, <laughs> you really think you can take all of us on by yourself? As Bell was like, oh, I'm not by myself. As the badge like looking around, like saying, well, kind of looks like, kind of looks like, kind of looks like it to us, kid. So why don't you beg for mercy? Maybe we'll let you live. As Bell begins smiling and just laughing like this. <laughs> oh, that is so rich. Uh, well, enough fooling around. Mask. And Venom says, copy. As Bell puts on the suit. And then Bell starts breaking their legs. Breaking their arms. And the bands are screaming in pain. They're even terrified of Bell. As Bell was screaming with such a sinister grin, as Bell decides, hey, Venom. Yeah? Do you want these guys for your meal? As Venom's like, <laughs> I thought you would never ask. I'm already starting to like you even more now, kid. As Bell was like, I know. We think alike, Venom. As Bella's body starts growing bigger and bigger, almost like a monster. As the bandits are terrified, like saying, Please let us live and we won't tell anyone about this. 
as Venom grabs the guy's throat and just says, Sorry, he isn't here right now, but I get to do whatever I want with you. As Venom opens his mouth and crunches on the bandit's head, eating it, crunching it. And as, Bell, as, as Venom looks at the others and just smiles as smiles as he's licking his teeth with hunger. As all you could hear is screaming and pain and crying. Uh, and that's it. The bandits are dead. And of course, Bill brought all that stuff back to the village. And it was a note on top of the carriage that says, Merry Christmas from Santa Claus. And the village is like, What? Whoever, get, whoever took those care of those bandits, we should thank him. As Bell was hiding in the alleyway, just smiling, just says, <laughs> That's the least I can do for my village. Well, as Bell gets off the street, time to go. As, uh, as Bell was walk, almost walking out of the alleyway, he noticed a kid. A kid that was almost dying. As Bo just crouched down to her and said, So, I have a question for you, kid. As she d doesn't respond, and Bo says, Do you want... Do you want revenge on some people? Or, do you want to die here? And don't let your vengeance... Hmm, be... I don't know. Have your revenge. As the girl's eyes begin to flick and she says, I want to kill them. As Bill smiling and just says, Who do you want to kill? As she says, I want to kill the people who killed, who left my family to die in a dungeon. As she's like, If you let me do that, I will, I will be loyal to you for the rest of my life. As Bill is like, Bravo, clapping his hands. As Bill picks her up and says, So, are you an orphan? She shakes her head yes. And Bill says to her, Well then, from here on out, you are now my daughter. And she's like, What? As Bill is like, <laughs> Listen, one day, you understand why I picked you. And also, I should probably tell you, girl. I have a little someone that's actually giving me strength. As girl's like, who is it? As Venom appears out of her shoulder, she says, My name's Venom. And would you like to join us? To making the whole world fear us, and not to be, and not to ma and make sure they don't mess with us, girl. As the girl smiling just says yes. As Belle is smiling with an evil grin. As Belle puts the girl on her shoulder and says, "Well, let's go to the dungeon then. It'll be a long walk." But it will be worth it. And the girl that Belle has is a demi-human. <laughs> if you guys can guess what symbiote I'm get it, getting, giving her, you are correct. Pause the video here to comment down what it is. Because I don't want to spoil the story. After Belle and his daughter got to the dungeon, Belle noticed that no one was taking in familiar. No one was going to take him in as part of their familia, because he had a feeling he doesn't want anyone to. I don't know backstab him because if he thinks about it correctly, no one in an actual familia. 
will actually be a good party. Sometimes there will be, but sometimes they'll be too weak or too slow to keep up. However, this girl fell over on the alleyway. And it was the middle of the night. She's like, ow! As the people were laughing at her, I was like, <laughs> no wonder no one wants to join your familia. You already lost everything to that one god. Man, you're so pathetic, god. As Bo was kind of not ticked off, but kind of disappointed that they would treat a goddess that way. So, Bell told his daughter to close his eyes, and she said, Yes, da okay, Daddy. As she, as Bell begins grabbing the guy's hand, and then breaks it. And she was, and she, she was like, What? Why would you defend me? As Bill is holding onto the guy's hand, he's screaming in pain. As Bill is like, I don't like others being treated like garbage. As Bill lifts up the guy's broken hand and throws him into a wall, the guy's back so fractured. As the other guys begin, begin saying, You regret this! Don't mess with our familia! As the guy's been running off. As Belle was like, <laughs> I thought they'd stick around for a fight. As she, as Hestia was like, gets up, just thank you, thank you so much for helping me. As Belle was like, it's no problem. As Belle leans to her and just says, so, do you have anyone in your familia? As she was like, no, I don't. I lost everything in a bit. And I was a, stu I was a stupid idiot back then, so no one would join my familia. As Belle was like, <laughs> I will join your familia. And she was like, really? As Belle was like, yes. And I'll make everyone, I'll make sure everyone fears our familia. And make sure it gets the proper respect it deserves. As Hestia was like, such determination. I like this, I like him. As Belle was like, huh. I know she's a goddess, but... Hmm. A month went by and now... Of course, Spell's going to be going to a dungeon soon. As Hestia says, Bell, make sure you come back. As Bell was like, <laughs> I'm not as I'm not that weak, Hestia. I know she'll make sure. As Bell's daughter says, Papa, make please come back soon. As Bell was like, Don't worry, sweetie. I'll be back in the little. Oh, I'll be back in a few hours. Okay, as Bill's smiling, as smiling as he's kneeling down to her, as Bell was like <laughs> walking out of the church, he was smiling, just saying, <laughs> "I wonder what monsters looking in a dungeon." And Venom saying and said, <laughs> "You know, if you cut a piece of me off and put it on the monster." I can analyze his power and apply that to our own. And Bell says, <laughs> I, Aren't you always full of surprises, Venom? And Venom says, Yes. Also. And as Bell's like, Also what, Venom? I do detect a symbiote coming soon. Bell was like, Soon? You mean another one just like you? Yes. However, this one may be difficult to control. As Bell's like, how difficult are we talking? Well, his name's Riot. He only likes a host if they have the courage and a personality like yours. As Bell's like, 
Wow, when will be coming? Hmm. Approximately five days. He's still in space, after all. As Bell was like, <laughs> You mean up there? As Bell was like, Yeah. As Bell was like, At the at the counter where the elf girl is, and she says, So, are you in the Loki family? Are you in the Hestia familia? Bell says, Yes. As she was like, Do you have any armor? She just says, Well, I'm wearing it right now. She was like, um, I can't let you go in without any armor. As Belle's hand begins turning into some type of, like, venomous glove. And she's like, oh, what kind of ability is that? Belle says, well, it's only a unique one, and only I can use it. It's kind of my magic. It's called... It enhances my strength and speed. However, I do hold back a lot, so... Yeah. As she, as she says, okay, I got your papers signed out and everything, so here, I need you to sign this and this, as Bell begins signing everything. And Bell puts his hands in his pocket and just looks up the stairs, just like, ah, this is going to be a pain to walk through. As Venom says, you know, we can't jump it, you know. As Bell's like, okay. As Belp was going in the center of the stairways, going spiraling up. As everyone's looking at Bell's like, what the hell is he doing? Why is he crouching down? As black, as black ink started coming out of his legs, and like saying, what the hell is that? Bell boosts himself up so high he he made it on the like the floors that the mentors are on. Where the Loki familiar are dealing with it. As Bell walks through the door, he sees about five minotaurs. However, Bell took a p took a piece off of the liquid and just threw it onto one of the minotaurs. And then one of the minotaurs became complete was covered in black ink, and it was like venom to control of it. Since venom can split himself, Bell has complete control over that thing. As Bell, as the monster was fighting the others, as Bell was understanding the strength, and Bell ordered the Minotaur to come back here, and this is where Ayn saw something that she was confused about. She saw a black Minotaur. She was about to go rush in, but then she noticed the Minotaur was kneeling towards Bell. As if it was, as if the, as if the Minotaur was, it's, as Bell was its master or something. As Bell grabs the black liquid, the Minotaur was completely drained of strength. When Bell grab, when Bell grabbed, was putting his hand on the Minotaur's nose, he ripped off the head like, in an instant. I was like, what the hell? How? What the hell is he? He ripped off that head like it was nothing. As she noticed that the, the black liquid coming from his hands was like some type of those claws. And Bell just says, uh, I might as well go kill some more. Plus there was plenty of more minotaurs. However, the wolf guy was about to kill the Minotaur, but then something burst through the Minotaur's chest. It was some type of claw going through it, and he saw the heart still beating. As the beast fell down, he saw Bell holding the heart as he was grasping it. He, the heart was still beating for a few seconds, but then it stopped as Bell dropped it and just walked by the wolf guy he just says, I must say, you are pretty much don't know how to handle those things, do you? As Bo was saying to the wolf guy, as the wolf guy was like, <laughs> and Bell was a level one. I want you guys to decide, hmm, since Bell has Venom, Venom's, 
Since Venom can analyze and take monster's strengths and apply that to Bell, imagine each time that Venom encounters a monster, he applies the strengths and abilities to Bell. And sometimes Venom can be able to in excuse me, infuse them to Bell's very body without Venom having to suit up with him. So the the amount of healing factor that Bell can have is depending on high, how 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 okay how high the monster is. The higher the level of the monster, the stronger Bell gets. And also his level will keep increasing. Also, he does have the factor where he does care about people, but it's a bit different than what it was. The skill is actually the opposite. The more he enjoyed, the more hmm, he had a loving, loving ability that if he was in the party, hmm, it doubles our XP, but if he's not, it increases his damage by 100% and his XP duration. So he gets 10 times more XP. Along with uh, incredible duration. You see, Venom is weak to fire, but Bell, Bell prepared for that. Bell worked day and night until his ears were bleeding, his arms completely like burnt, even stretched out or even torn off. So Venom has pretty much a lot of fire resistance. However, when Riot freezes with them, their weakness, they will have that weakness again, so Bell has to do all that training again, but will be twice as hard. As the wolf guy grabs Bell's shoulder and just says, Kid, you shouldn't be down here. As Bell grabs the guy by the throat and just says, Listen here, buddy. I have no crawl with you, but if you touch me again, I will kill you as Bell is beginning to put on the mask. The symbiote mask. As Bell lets go of the guy, he's coughing up for he's coughing for lack of oxygen. He's like, What the hell are you? Some type of monster hybrid? As Bell's like, no. I'm much worse. As Bo kept killing some more Minotaurs. As the Loki Familia thought they killed most of the Minotaurs, however, when they saw a Minotaur coming towards them, they, they saw something going out of its chest. As Bo begins ripping it in half, tossing the corpse to, uh, tossing the other half to the right and to a to the left. And Loki from here like, what the hell is he? Right? Is he even a level one? As Bell begins walking past him, just says, If you try to fight me, I will not spare any of you. As eyes is like, what the hell? Where did he get such strength? <laughs> As Bell is laughing, as of course Bell to grab some a lot of crystals. I gotta see how much my recording time is. Besides, this Venom what if is pretty interesting, am I right, guys? And of course, I just wanted to test something. So I just threw a watt rock, and Bill caught it, but he didn't caught it. She knows that the liquid ink caught it, and then dropped it. Like it had a mind of its own. She was wondering if that liquid was alive or something. Or, yeah. As Bo was like, well, time to go back down. As Bo being suiting up. As Loki familiar, like, looking at Bo, he's like fully suited in the black liquid. His face is covered in it. And like the Spider Man mask. As Bell jumped all the way down, and he always shows like, and everyone at the main floor saw this guy covered in liquid, like in a black substance. It's like he was wearing some sort of costume or suit. 
However, the suit began disappearing soon after it landed to the ground. As Bell said, Okay, I'm done. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry to mention, but there's Minotaurs up there, so you can't go. As Bell was like, Eh, I took care of it. As she was like, What? How many did you kill? Probably about 30 or 15. Or 28, I, don't, I can't remember. As she was like, What? You gotta be joking. As Bell was like, <laughs> Doesn't look like I'm joking. And she was like, Oh, I'm I'm sorry. You can cash out over there. And Asbel was like, All right. As Loki Familiar got down to the floor, they they were all more staring at Bell. And Bell was like, Okay. <sighs> Mask. Copy. Only only Bell could hear him in his head. As Loki had covered Bell. As Bell was running at incredible speed. He was, running so, he was running so fast that even the Loki Familiar couldn't see him. It was like that suit was some type of enhancement or or yeah, or ability only he could use. But that's not the case. After Bell got back, after Bell got to the church, he noticed that his little girl was sleeping. And I'm calling her. Hmm. How about this? I'll let you guys decide in the comments. And if I like the name, I'll give it to her. And if you love this little what if, please smash that like button. And tell me in the comments. And I'm just saying this. I'm not ending the video here. I want it to go longer. As Belle was so... She was smiling. <laughs> With joy. Because no one saw him in the mask. He was smiling a lot. As Belle puts a blanket over his little girl. Hestia got back and just says, Oh, hey, Belle. What are you... She looked at her, his jacket. It was covered a bit, kind of covered in kind of like almost some blood. And Hestia was like, Is that your blood, Bell?" Or... As Belle was like, No, that was from some monsters. I'll clear it off later. As, as Hestia was like, Okay. And the next day. After that... Hestia decided to, huh, no, well, Bell decided to walk around the town. So, yeah, our well, Rodolki for me also got done with another quest, so they were at the bar. Hmm. I also want to say there is a symbiote at the bar. However, It was expected that Riot would come a bit later, but no. How about this? Five days went by and the symbiote landed somewhere near their bar. So Venom told Bell that he should wait there. And Venom said, I'll keep signaling to the symbiote where we are. Just stay at the bar. You'll probably be likely to get there. As Bell orders a drink... As she just sees the look as the Loki familia go through the door and they just see Belle just having a drink. They try to ignore they just want to ask him questions, but they didn't want to cause too much of a ruckus. As Bell was as something but they noticed there was something crawling on the ground. It was a lack as a it was a silver a grey liquid. As Bell gets up from his seat and kneels down to it, the black liquid begins f going to Bell and begins fusing to him. It was like it was bonding with him or something. However, Bell said mask, and then Bell's mask had two like marks on his eyes. It was like a lightning bolt. 
because the lightning bolt would be going this way, and this way. So, Riot is now part of Bell, but he has to strike a few deals with him. As Bell was cracking his neck, and Bell, because Venom had a limit to his claws, however, since Riot fused with Bell, Bell is now capable of making sharper blades that can reach from far distances and has range. As Bell was, as Bell was, as Bell looks at his hand, he throws it a he transforms it into claws, sharp. That's a, as a Loki for Mira, like, what the hell? How did he do that? He, we just saw that liquid, but wherever that stuff is, it must make him stronger. As Bell puts away the claws and unmasks, he just says, Here, here's my drink. Now see ya. As Bell puts his hands in his pocket, and the wolf guy says, Tch. So, So I'm guessing you got that thing from somewhere, huh, kid? As Bell was like, Oh my. That was really silly of you, wolf, wolf boy. As Bell's smiling at him, the guy's like, Fine! I'll let you off this time, kid. As Bell was like, hm, Whatever. As Bell leaves the bar, however, Ainz, Ainz was running, running towards, was running to Bell. She grabbed onto Bell's shoulder and she, and she says, Wait. And as Bell says, Oh. As Bell turns around and says, Hey, so what do you want? As as just like ah, not his yet. Eyes is like how, and Bell's like how what? How are you so strong? She's like wondering, keep giving that Bell expression. Bell's like, hmm. you see, I'm not the only person working alone here. Eyes, eyes is like what? You see, I'm not. I just work for my for a living. And plus, I don't think you can beat me. I just like, <laughs> don't get cocky just because you have that. Ms. Bell was like, oh, so you want to fight in the streets, eh? As I was like, <laughs> let's test your mic. As the Loki Familia came outside Nick saying, what's going on? As she says, well, I had to, f oh. She says, "Well, it appears that this person appears that Bell challenged me, and Bell's level stats are way above the Sword Princess. He's already level fifty. Because if I think about it, Bell is pretty. Hmm. Since he has Venom and Carnage, yeah, he gets fucking." Since Car, how about this? He was level thirty, but since he feeds with Carnage, not Carnage, Riot, his his double increase, his level increased. And his blades are insanely sharp. So yeah. As Eyes begins to doing her position, Bell just puts his hand in his pocket as he's putting on the suit. He's just sitting there doing nothing. However, Ice goes, Ice attacks first. However, Bell just, Bell just dodges it. And Ice is like, hm, I see you're able to dodge my attack. As Bell was like, hm, it's pretty basic. I mean, I can read your moves perfectly. As Ice is like, can you read this? As Ice stabs Bell through the chest. As I, Bell was like, kind of now he's pissed. As Bell was like, <laughs> however, Bell grabs Ice's hand, and it won't. And she try to dislocate it. However, Bell's arm was lo dislocated, and let's just say 
spell broke Ice's weapon. As she, as he broke his arm, bro broke her arm. Everyone's looking familiar couldn't believe this. This person joined the Hestia Familia, and they, f and he was the first person who joined. He broke the Sword Princess's arm like it was nothing. However, he not only did that, he pulled the sword out of his stomach. And everyone saw it, be it was began healing itself as the liquid was covering over it. As Riot was finally beginning to wake up from his slumber, Riot said, mm. Venom. And Venom said, well, 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 Riot. It's been quite a while. Venom saying, and Riot says, yes, indeed, so, you've been calling me, so, is this your host? Venom says, well, make that our host, Venom says, as Riot says, our host, I need, as Riot says, hmm, I see he was using me earlier. As Venom says, yes, he was. And I must say, we're pretty much weak, ten times weaker to fire now. Because of you. Right says, well, sorry about that. Just that I don't get along with, with you, Venom. And Venom says, we don't need to get along. All we do, gotta do is get along with our partner, Bill. As Right says, oh, so you take a liking to this human? I thought you'd be eating his insides by now. As Venom says, well, he he shares a common goal with us. And Riot says, and that is, he wants to make sure everyone fears him. And he doesn't mind if I tag along. And also, he wants us to work together. As Riot says, all right. Uh, fine. Just for this once, Venom, I'll listen to you and to your partner when I meet him. As Venom says, well, you could say that right now, because he's fighting the Sword Princess about the Loki Familia. It's pretty interesting, to be honest. Well, watch with me. As Riot says, <laughs> this should be interesting. I shall give him some of my abilities as well. He can now get claws. He can now shoot stretch farther. As eyes was like <clears throat> I must say, it's quite impressive that you, you managed to hear yourself within a short amount of time. As Bill was like cracking his head's like uh, I could always do this. Besides since that thing went to my body I'm ten I'm fifty times stronger than I was before. As Hestia was like, as Ice was like, hmm, bring it on. As one of Ice's comrades throws Ice another sword. As Bell's body begins going a bit taller, and his eyes a bit more sinister. And then, all of a sudden, Ice noticed something. Bell started to grow a mouth, a wicked smile, the one you're seeing in the picture right now. And he's smiling like, what's wrong? Too scared to fight me now? As I was like, hm, don't get too cocky just because you broke my arm. As Bell was like, alright then. And that's where we'll be ending off the video, guys. And I know, don't stop the recording here. But if you guys want more, please hit the subscribe button. And smash that like button if you want to see more. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you all later.